it takes a lifetime to really understand things. And even in a lifetime, there's still uh, more to learn. You're always starting with a, a clean slate. You're always starting with no bites. And uh, hopefully by the end of the day, you're gonna have a few bites. My family's got pretty deep roots here, so um, it's always felt like home. These waters, I, I, I've been fishing since I was I was two years old in Sydney with, with my grandfather in the early 80s and uh, when I was young. Basically every single waking weekend, I would come over here and we used to spend our days on these beaches, on these islands, exploring every little nook and cranny of the Southern Gulf Islands. And uh, we spent a lot of days just trolling around with his old two-stroke engine, trolling trolling spoons around the local kelp beds and this is kind of where I, I got hooked so to speak. In collaboration with the uh, DFO, the BC Conservation Fund, and the Pacific Salmon Foundation. Honor charters year round uh, were involved in a, in a couple of main projects. Um, one of them is called the Avid Angler Program. Um, with the Avid Anglers, what we do is we have uh, a DNA hole punch. And what we'll do is we'll take a sample from, uh, from their tails. And from that sample, we're able to uh, get an understanding of where these fish are coming from. The other thing that we're doing is we're putting pit tags in in some of the Chinook that we uh, release. And the idea behind that is to try and find bottlenecks in survival. When these fish return to, to the rivers on the east coast of, of Vancouver Island, they could get an understanding of, uh, of their survival because there's, uh, there's detection points on the lower reaches of a few different rivers. The BC coast is a massive area. There's uh, there's hundreds of different stocks of salmon and there's thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of people that rely on them. As a whole, it's so important for, for different stakeholders and groups to band together to try and gather as much data as possible so everybody can understand salmon better. In order to do that, we really need as many people uh, chipping in as possible. 